Starship is currently preparing for its highly anticipated Flight 9. In an effort to achieve a successful mission, SpaceX has focused on overcoming the challenges faced in the previous two launches. Each advancement has included significant refinements aimed at improving performance and reliability. The most significant recent advancement has to do with the B-14 hot staging system, which has undergone several unexpected and critical modifications. How SpaceX refined its design. Let's talk more about that in today's episode of NR Studio. It is widely accepted that the last two Starship flights ended with explosive events that occurred during the return phase of the spacecraft. SpaceX has previously explained that the underlying cause had to do with anomalies noted during Flight 7, specifically involving high harmonic vibration levels. These apparent vibrations resulted in a fuel leak, which then led to a buildup of pressure and ignition of the engines. When the damage exceeded a critical threshold, multiple systems began to fail, especially the engines, which ultimately caused the spacecraft to lose control and explode. However, the more important investigation is ongoing. What triggered the initial series of failures? As discussed in the previous episode, a growing number of experts believe that the hot staging ring, once considered a beneficial advancement during stage separation, may have played a role in the ship's downfall. Let's break down this encapsulation. Hot staging facilitates the ignition of the upper stage engines while the boosters remain attached, thus ensuring a smoother separation. However, this technique produces a large jet of hot exhaust gas directly above the boosters. Theoretically, the ring design is intended to effectively dissipate the exhaust fumes. However, in practice, it fails to channel all the heat and pressure as intended. Instead, some of it bounces off, resulting in a phenomenon called back pressure and back shock. This shockwave affects the ship's vital systems, especially the engines. This concern was not realized in previous iterations, such as version 1, which incorporated engine shielding. However, in the revised V2 design, SpaceX opted to eliminate this protective measure in order to minimize weight and increase structural efficiency. As a result, the engines became increasingly vulnerable to the ill effects of hot staging. That's when the problem became even more pronounced. The theory gained additional credibility due to the observed inconsistencies between flight data and ground test findings. Unlike actual launches, ground tests neglected to replicate hot staging, resulting in adverse effects only becoming apparent during actual flights. As a result, there was widespread anticipation that SpaceX would upgrade the hot staging system before the ninth flight. And indeed, those expectations were met. On April 16th, a newly designed hot staging ring was seen being hoisted into Mega Bay 1, apparently intended for B-14, which had been earmarked for an upcoming flight. Aesthetically, the ring clearly shows changes from its predecessor. It appears to have been enhanced with additional materials, and most importantly, it has a reduced number of vents, especially in the central region, that is visible from our vantage point. At first glance, one might assume that reducing the number of vents would worsen back pressure. However, a more nuanced reasoning is at work here. The reduced number of vents results in fewer separate exhaust streams, thereby increasing SpaceX control over the dynamics of the exhaust gas. By optimizing and adjusting the number of vent lines, SpaceX is able to more effectively control the flow and intensity of the exhaust gas, thereby reducing turbulence and shock waves that can impact the ship's engine compartment. This change not only improves the ship's performance, but also optimizes conditions for the thrusters. On previous flights, the front of B-15 showed clear signs of burning, indicating that it had been exposed to hot gas and debris. In a comparable manner, the grid fins, which are critical to ensuring a controlled landing, have shown signs of thermal damage with melting events occurring. Considering the new design, it is likely that the four symmetrical sections of the heat staging ring, which do not have ventilation holes, correspond to the grid fin locations. This signifies improved protection from the blast during separation, which is a significant step toward achieving full reusability. In addition to its functional advantages, the new ring sports a much more substantial appearance, which is a must. Unlike the engines and various systems that use cryogenic fuel for effective cooling, the hot staging ring sits directly in the blast zone with no built-in cooling mechanisms or shielding. It quickly absorbs significant heat and pressure so the integration of complementary materials and streamlining of its ventilation architecture could significantly improve its survivability and operational effectiveness. Ultimately, these improvements demonstrate SpaceX's dedication to rapid adaptation and the lessons learned from previous missteps. 
Each new flight serves not only as an evaluation, but as a carefully designed reaction to its predecessor. The aspiration is that the modifications to the hot staging system will facilitate a smoother and more orderly separation process, reducing stress on both stages and increasing the likelihood of mission success. What do you think? Do you believe these hot staging improvements will have a significant impact on Flight 9? Share your insights in the comments below and stay tuned for updates as we launch. Of course, the recent improvements to the hot staging ring are noteworthy. However, they come at a cost in the form of increased mass. For a company like SpaceX, which is constantly striving to minimize weight across all components to increase efficiency and reusability, the added mass poses a significant challenge. This issue becomes even more apparent when one examines SpaceX's current approach to hot staging. Due to the increased mass of the ring, the company has implemented a hot staging jettison procedure during booster re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Essentially, the ring is jettisoned during descent to reduce weight, thereby facilitating an easier and more energy-efficient landing process. While this approach has proven effective, it defeats the ultimate goal of achieving full reusability, a core aspiration of the Starship initiative. Ideally, the hot staging ring would safely re-enter Earth with the booster, eliminating the need to jettison it mid-flight. However, the increased mass from the additional reinforcement makes achieving that goal difficult. This is where an entirely new iteration of the hot staging ring comes into the discussion. A development that was alluded to with the launch of the Starship 5, 2, and V3 iterations. This innovative concept takes cues from the Soviet-era N-1 rocket, which also used a hot staging mechanism. It is anticipated that the upcoming iteration of the ring will introduce many improvements that will effectively correct various deficiencies observed in the current model. The new design will incorporate a streamlined and simplified structure, increasing construction efficiency while facilitating easier maintenance and repair between flights. Additional open vents are expected. This mechanism will improve heat and pressure dissipation, minimizing the possibility of back pressure or shock that could potentially harm the engine. Furthermore, the revised ring is expected to be elongated, increasing the separation distance between the spacecraft and the booster, which in turn could reduce the impact of engine ignition on both entities. The more streamlined design will facilitate its retention during descent, furthering the goal of complete reusability. Arguably, most importantly, this innovative design will add to one of the primary benefits of hot staging, its ability to streamline the separation mechanism while increasing Starship's payload capacity. Currently, hot staging increases payload capacity by about 10%, and this innovative design has the potential to further improve this metric. However, the implementation of this version may depend on the release of subsequent booster variants. Current speculation suggests that Booster 18 could serve as the initial platform for this upgrade. Observed changes to the ring mount and structural elements suggest that B18 could incorporate significant design modifications. This was further evidenced by the emergence of the B17 test tank which demonstrated a variety of experimental changes that foreshadowed developments anticipated with B-18. B-17 is currently in the testing phase, with B-18 stacking anticipated to begin soon, possibly as early as May. According to SpaceX's usual development schedule, the hot staging ring for B-18 is expected to materialize after the successful completion of a static booster firing test. This places the introduction of the new ring sometime in July or August. Until then, the iteration of the hot staging ring seen on B-1 will remain the primary subject of testing efforts. With B-1 designated for Flight 9 and additional boosters such as B-16 and B-17 in development, SpaceX is strategizing a series of future missions that utilize the existing hot staging configuration. Indeed, there is ongoing talk of a potential reconfiguration of B-15 for Flight 11, which suggests the possibility of seeing four consecutive flights, flights 9 through 12, using this design. These flights will produce critical data. Each flight presents an opportunity to solidify recent improvements, find any remaining vulnerabilities, and further optimize the system. Ultimately, this testing campaign will lay the foundation for the next iteration of the hot staging ring one that is lighter, more efficient, and more fully reusable. With each successful launch, SpaceX 
advances further toward meeting the stringent reliability and performance standards required for interplanetary endeavors and extensive orbital operations. It's clear that, in addition to the systems that have struggled on previous flights, hot staging is quickly emerging as a critical aspect of SpaceX's ongoing progress on Starship. Among the most anticipated developments is the enhanced hot staging ring featured on Booster 14. This iteration, distinguished by its innovative design modifications, is the first in a series of innovative solutions intended to address significant challenges uncovered during previous missions. The performance improvements of this enhanced ring will be evaluated on future flights, which will provide important insight into its efficacy. However, these improvements do not represent an end in themselves. SpaceX is dedicated to the continued improvement of the hot staging system until it reaches a level of success and reliability. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode, and thank you for your support.